Sabha is part of it and we are trying to celebrate it in a really nice way. What we are going to do for the Parliament week is we are going to split our sessions into two weeks. So uh, this Friday we are going to do the initial part before the MPs go into the Parliament, the first part of it which is electing your MPs, uh, which will be from the local constituencies or areas from where the MPs will be selected and today we are going to do that process and uh, the UAS, three UAS and one BAL have kindly agreed to be the party leaders today uh, who will be contesting the election as your local MPs and you're going to listen to what they have to say and you're going to vote for them. So we are going through the voting process today and everybody everybody will get to participate. My name is Itia, and I'm, I'm representing the Bright Minds Party for your future MP. I have a five point manifesto and my first point is that we will ensure that our council covers, um, covers big parks so um, kids can st uh, still play any sports in any weather because this, this weather obviously doesn't support that. Isn't it? That will improve their physical, uh, their physical progre progress and their academic progress. Um, and the, the schools can also use the field that we've been covering up, so that ties to my first point. My third point is that I will... Renick, and I'm representing the Global Peace Party. So I've done a manifesto with five categories, uh, education, economy, infrastructure, housing and transport. So first, ed um, education. So I want to promote, I want to promote education access across the country and make it affordable, such as uh, utensils, such as uh, pencil cases, pens, so that everyone can gain a right to education, regardless of their status, financial advice or any other. And next, uh, economy. Uh, we need a sustainable economic development for the country, and I promise to reverse the current economic dip. My party is a Lumia Ray party which means the act of making something better. So we're striving to make um, the world a better place, especially Buckinghamshire. So my first point is inclusive, <laughs> inclusive visiting. So we don't want conflict between races, religions, or anything else. Um, so like no riots, any other stuff like that. Secondly, we want more funding for roads. Who likes driving? and going into potholes. <laughs> so, yeah. Next, there's so many burglaries in Amersham and Buckinghamshire in general. Uh, so, okay, first of all, who's been walking home from school and it's already pitch dark? Like, just raise your hands. I mean, it's pretty annoying, right? And imagine if you have a club, like imagine if you're trying to play football, if you're trying to just like go on a walk, it's pitch black. So my first, my first point is to establish new playgrounds indoor sports facilities for younger children, whether that be by refurbishing existing ones or building new ones, because I really think that would be Please vote for Bright Man's Party. Please vote for Amelia Ray. <laughs> <laughs> uh, please vote for Global Peace Party. <laughs> I actually remember the name of my party, so please vote for <laughs> <laughs> Hold it, hold it, and then say, cross it, and then... Wait, there's more. Yeah, okay. Oh my gosh. One moment. Why are they saving? Yeah, he's there. Not bad. Yeah, that's my hand. Wow, Lipia. Wow, Lipia. Mahir's. We have the votes here. So, the winning MP. Okay, the winning MP uh, is Aditya Bassan with 18 votes. <laughs> Because he's less than 18, for the next session he can't be the ruling party. <laughs> so the next, the next person who wins with him will support him to be the ruling party, which is Karthik. 
Uh, he is 190 votes. And then I have next is Mahir with 8 votes and Shrenik with 5 votes. Uh, very well done, guys. I really appreciate. I approached them very last minute, but all of them were very supportive and participating.